Hi, uh, welcome. In my series of lectures in computer science, today's topic is merge sort. Merge sort is a very efficient sorting algorithm, one of the efficient sorting algorithms. It was invented by an American computer scientist, John von Neumann, in 1945. It is a recursive algorithm. What that means is that, uh, it, that to solve merge sort, the procedure merge sort will call itself in the program. Uh, if you're not familiar with recursion, we have talked about recursion in uh, previous lectures, so feel free to go back. Mercer is also an example of a divide and conquer algorithm. So a divide and conquer algorithm basically works like this, that you divide the problem into smaller number of, into some number of sub problems, uh, smaller problems. Uh, and then you, there is a conquer part. So in the conquer part, you, uh, try to solve these little smaller sub problems uh, and you do that by using recursion so to be able to solve the sub problem you call the function again so that's where recursion comes into play and then once these sub problems have been solved using recursion you in the final part which is called the combined part you combine the result you merge the result and produce the final result so merge sort kind of closely follows this paradigm so let's let's understand with the help of an example how that works so suppose i have a list suppose i have a list so let's say seven three one and uh, minus one so the divide phase in merge sort works like this that the the list is arbitrarily divided into two halves the first half will be 7 comma 3 and that's the left half and the right half will be 1 comma minus 1 and that's the right half so this the divide is pretty simple you just take the list and divide it into two halves the second part in merge sort is called the conquer part where what happens is that you take the left right and left list and you try to sort them using merge sort function again so you call the merge sort function on this and assuming that that works which works because recursion works uh, and let's say you get 3 comma 7 and 1 comma minus 1 is sorted you get minus 1 comma 1 the last part is the merge part and the merge part essentially the way it works is that this function given two sorted lists merges them to produce the final sorted list so essentially the way it works is that you start at pointers and we'll talk about this in detail it starts the pointers are the heads it compares the elements at the head so you compare minus one and three and you realize oh minus one is the smaller one so you put minus one here and you scratch minus one from here and you move the head to here and then you compare three and one and you realize that well three one is smaller so you scratch the head from here and you put one here and then you have no more elements here so you just put three here and seven here and you're done so we'll talk about merge function in detail but that's essentially the idea of merge sort uh, that it divides the problem into sub problems concurs the sub problems using recursion merges the final result to get you the output uh, let's take a bigger example maybe so if if you for example take this string 38 27 43 3 9 80 to 10 the divide part is this 38 27 43 3 and 9 80 to 10 so it divides this big list into two halves left and right and then sort merge sort is then again called on this list and this list separately so let's and the result is then returned here the internals of how merge sort works we can go into that but before let's talk about what happens so this is merge sorted and you get 327 38 43 similarly 982 10 is merge sorted and you get the output 9 10 82 and you merge them so you merge you compare 3 and 9 3 is smaller then you compare 27 and 9 9 is smaller so you put 9 here 27 and 10 10 is smaller so you put 10 here so that's how merge function works you merge this with this now the question is how does merge sort sort this well it it calls itself so you call itself it divides the list again into two halves 38 27 43 3 to sort 38 27 it it calls merge sort again divides it again into two parts 38 27 and then oh 38 sorting 38 is pretty straightforward it's itself 27 is sorted it's itself so you merge them and you get 37 27 38 back 
the idea of recursion essentially being that if a problem becomes small enough you don't call the function itself you just solve the problem and if the problem is complicated you break down into a smaller problem and call the recursive function again uh, so let's continue so next section is we will try to implement both of these uh, functions in Python uh, before we do that uh, let's write the pseudocode first so if you're not familiar with the idea of pseudocode a pseudocode is essentially kind of non-working code but it is still what you do is you sketch out the idea in detail where essentially what remains is that you have a working co you where you have a working algorithm the syntax is not correct if you type out the program in in python or any other language it will not work per se but the algorithm is correct and so all that remains is once you take a pseudocode is to get the syntax right and get the code working so i generally given a hard problem try to write the pseudocode first and then once it is clear to me how the code is to be written then I go back and write the actual program so I think the tricky part in merge sort th there are three parts in merge sort one is uh, as we talked about divide that is rather straightforward you just take a list divide it into two halves the second part is concur well that's also rather straightforward because you call the merge call the merge sort function again the third part is the most tricky part which is the combine part or the merge part so first we will talk about this and then we will talk about one and two so let's first talk about three in detail so merge function so the merge function has to take in def merge list one and list two so consider how this will work so what you will do is that you will take two lists and they are sorted lists that is guaranteed you have you want to find write an output such that these two lists are merged so why don't you define the output to be an empty list in the beginning and also initialize the pointers i and j to zero where i being the pointer of the first list and j being the pointer of the of the first list now what you do is you run a loop while there is data while there is data in at least one of the lists at least one of lists so what you are doing is that you are running the loop until at least i is inside the list or j is inside the list at any point of time if you run out of numbers in both the list then your loop is over essentially so while you run the loop when there are datas there are three cases case one where both lists have data and this is the most interesting one have data there is case number two which is only list one has data And then there is the third case which is only list 2 has data. So case 1. Well in case 1 you take the number at the head of both the elements and you compare the elements. So put the well let's uh, let's shift this a little bit down. put mm, so put smaller element uh, into output so basically what you will do is you will compare the elements at the head and you will put the smaller into output and you will move the corresponding pointer so what that means is that if the element in the first list is uh, is smaller you will move the pointer of the first list and put this element into the output if on the other hand the element in the second list was smaller you would move the pointer by one point and put the element onto onto the output list 
if that if only list one has data well then you don't have to do you don't have to do any comparison put element from list one into data and you could do this one by one I mean you don't have to put all the values into data you can put one element shift the pointer by one go to the loop come here put one data and then move the pointer so on and so forth similarly put element put element from list to into data and essentially you you, uh, you should be done at this point and then just just return oh I've been calling it data well that's fine into output into output output okay so that's our pseudocode right there now I hope that makes sense and that's essentially what it is in the PDF as well you'd initialize the indexes at the head of both the list while one of the indexes inside the list you check the three cases case one both lists have data compare the elements at the head remove the element from its parent and add to the output list and remove the corresponding index and then the other two cases uh, so that's that and then what is the pseudocode for merge sort function so if once you have the merge function writing merge sort is actually very straightforward and and essentially this is how it works is that given a list here is the base case if the list is less than or equal to one which is which is that if the list is small enough then just return the list as is and this is in recursive terms this is the base case the problem has become so small that you can solve it directly without going into any further problem it's so simple otherwise and this is the recursive case well then you go into divide conquer combine phase you divide the problem which is to say that you take your list and divide it into two halves left and right uh, then there is conquer part which means that you take your left sublist and you merge sort it you call the function again and this is recursion and let's say the output is sorted left and you take your right list and uh, sublist and you call merge sort on it and you get sorted right that's the output last part you just return the results and you return merge of sorted left and sorted right so that's the idea and we have already talked about the implementation of merge already so I hope the pseudocode is clear now let's jump into Python and let's implement it let's see this thing in action so let's see so merge function should take list one and list two right and the let's initialize the output to empty let's initialize the pointer i and j to zero uh, let's also find out the length of both the lists the length function gives you the length in python of list two now while now this is where we put the while loop while i which is the index to the head of list one is less than length one or i or j is less than length two which means while one of the list have data you tackle the three cases case one case two case three case one is both have data and this case is essentially if uh, i is less than length one and j is less than length two so notice these two conditions look similar but the difference is between or and and this says that one of the conditions should be true this says that both the conditions should be true both lists have data and this is at at least one of the lists have data so that's the difference uh, so in this case you just compare the elements so you compare the ith element of list j with the uh, element of list 2 if that is smaller well then you append to the output uh, list 1j and this syntax by the way is is nothing but is nothing but this so in python you can you can add integers you can write 1 plus 2 equals 3 
you can however use the plus function to do other things as well so plus function changes meaning depending upon the value you're sending and so I can send in string hello plus string word and it will add the string it will concatenate the string one after the another and return hello world similarly what happens is that if you take two lists and do plus on them it will add or concatenate it will join these lists and return 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, and this symbol plus equals to is, is nothing but, but the following. So, if you have x equals 2 and you write x plus equals 3, x becomes 5. x plus equals 3 is simply a short form of saying that x is equal to x plus 3. So, nothing fancy there. So, essentially what I'm doing, saying here is that output is equal to output plus another list and the list contains only one element list one i so i hope that is clear does that make sense okay otherwise oh by the way you need to make sure that you are shifting the pointer you are for the first list because now that element is no longer on the table else you can say you can do the same thing with j right so you can say okay the jth element was smaller so i'm going to put j into the output and j will be j plus one okay uh let's delete this okay anyways so so this is case one the second case lf which is nothing but l a else if L if i is less than length one and this this essentially is saying that only list one has data then you just say output plus equals list one i and you just move i equals i plus one and the last case is that list two has data in which case you just put to j and increment j equals j plus one so that i think should do it i think at the end we can just say return output and that should do it so let's check it let's exit from our terminal here and write python merge sort which is the name of the function oh we can print uh, merge of Let's see, I mean, let's take two sorted lists. One of them is 1, 2, another is 0 or minus 1, 7. And so I expect that this works, and it does. So it takes minus 1 from this list, then it takes 1 from that list, 2, 3, and then 7 from the other list. So voila, it works, right? So this is great. So now we have, now once we have the merge function working, writing merge sort is rather straightforward. So let's take a look at merge sort. So merge sort takes in a list as an input right it we should as in any recursive problem you should always think about base case and recursive case when is my problem small enough that i can just solve it by hand oh, by hand i mean i can just simply solve it so length is equal to len of less so if so the base case will be if length is less than equal to 1 return the list as is the recursive case otherwise will be that you will need to now do the divide part so the first part will be divide where you compute the midpoint which is simply length divide by 2 right and you take your left part which is just list from 0 to mid and your right is list mid to three. so this syntax by the way is also pretty standard if you have a list which is uh, 23 45 43 13 12 91 if I do list of 0 to 3 what that means is that the first index take the elements from 0 to 3 where 3 is not included so list of 0 list of 1 and list of 2 are included so it returns to the 0th index 40 the sec first the 0th index the first index and the second index 
when I do list of 3 to colon that means take the elements from 3 inclusive to all the way to the end of the list so element at the third index third index is 12 and the uh, to all the way to the end are returns so 1291 so essentially that's what I'm doing to divide my list into two halves I then sort them and this is recursion coming into play and this is and this I would say is the conquer phase merge sort is uh, you take the merge sort of left and you so compute sorted right which is merge sort of right and once you have that then you have the combine phase which gives you victory so you just return merge function of sorted left and sorted right can type I can type okay so let's test it I think they should work so print let me get rid of this function so if I merge sort uh, let's say 9 12 doesn't matter minus 2 minus 4 1 5 6 Let's let's try to see if that will work. Python merge sort dot py and boom minus four minus two one. This is a sorted list, so that is good. I mean, the the fact that that I really like the most is that the function merge sort is so elegant and it's so small, given the merge function. So a lot of work happens, and that's not complicated either. But given the merge function, the merge sort is so elegant and it's very efficient as well uh, so that is also the beauty of recursive problems the implementation turns out to be very nice and very beautiful uh, so I would say that essentially concludes today's lecture we talked today about merge sort it is a very good algorithm it's an efficient algorithm that has good performance on large data sets uh, given a large collection if you use something like insertion sort which we talked in the last lecture it'll insertion sort will perform much worse com when compared to merge sort mathematically speaking it roughly spe or the order or the of performance of merge sort is n times log n where n is the number of elements in the collection compared to n square uh, for insertion sort so in the next lecture we will talk about another efficient sorting algorithm quick sort so yeah please keep watching and th and thank you bye